Hey Virgo, Kim Enchantress here to do a past life reading based on 14th of February 1900. Now before I go on, I have done the Valentine's Day readings for 2022 and this is a past life reading based on a situation or a person that could be affecting your love life today. So if you're not having any issues in your relationships, obviously this reading's not meant for you. Everything's honkadori in that area. So this is only for people that need guidance in their love life today. Now, I feel like you were from an island called David in the Tam in Tampa, Florida. It's what I was getting when I was shuffling the cards. Now, I feel like um, there was an issue um, with your childhood. Now, I've got the uh, Hermit card here, which represents uh, your lifetime today Virgo and also it represents what's going on for singles and we've got a high priestess in reverse which will represent couples in today's society and also the future which is emperor reversed so we'll look at that at the end of the reading but I'm going to use the Lenormand cards for the basis of the past life reading we have the, the house which is home and family the moon, which is your emotions, something hidden. The child, which can represent a child or new beginnings. So we've got a cancer energy there. We've got the ship, which is about travel or movement. The anchor, which could mean um, long-term goals, feeling stuck, security, uh, somewhere permanent. This is the bear, which is authority figures, finances, mice, which is anxiety or stress. Uh, the sun which represents um, a Leo energy but it's also about feeling happy it can represent a sunny uh, place or we've got the dog which is friendships and loyalty so Virgo um, I'm, I've already established that you lived on an island called David in, a, in Tampa Florida but I feel there seemed to be someone that had a big influence in your life on how you were raised. Now, it may have had to, uh, to do with being a child and having to stay in at night time and find rest in the privacy of your home. I feel like this made you sad, Virgo, and you had a lot of nightmares because of this. This was the beginning of your journey into your deeper self, though. Now, there was abandonment issues and everything was a novelty to you because you entered uncharted waters. You seem like you wanted to take a step in a new direction when you were older. So you were conflicted from wanting to stay or leave, but you needed the change of routine. Now, one of your parents was very strong, solid and stabilising presence in your, in your life, but they made you feel like you're unable to stand on your own two feet. And this weakened your physical or emotional strength. Perhaps um, you had a single parent that was acting out both roles where they had to go to work and, you know, uh, look after chores, plus look after you, and they were worried about you, so maybe they kept you inside a lot. But there was a lack of joy and optimism in your life. This was tainted happiness, so to speak. And you eventually found happiness in a friendship. This friendship was very easy... And you finally shared your joy with this person. You admired this friend. They were loyal and supportive of you, but they only were if, you, if they remained popular. Now, this could have been when you were 13. This person could have been five years older than you at the time. So what did you look like, Virgo? You had dark skin, flowing shoulder length hair, a foreign background. He had uh, bluey green eyes. You were a little stern because of your upbringing. He had a little goatee starting to sprout. And he had this teddy bear, teddy bear kind of feel. People always wanted to hug you for some reason. Now this friend was quite sturdy, wide shoulders, pale skin. He had this round face with a motherly feel. And they always wanted to, to uh, cuddle you. They were also childlike and playful, and they looked younger than their age. They didn't look 18. 
So Valentine's Day 1900, I feel like you left home, you moved away to a different place. You turned away from your uh, traditions to start your own traditions. You wanted a happy family life full of celebrations and the warmth within the family unit and home. You wanted to spend that time at home with your family and make plans and you wanted to be aware of family matters. <coughs> now you wanted to protect family members and your home. You were just fed up with the present situation and it made you want to leave and change things dramatically. Now you had abandonment issues and were very inexperienced in life because of your upbringing, but this was the beginning of your journey. I feel like you took a travel companion with you because this person followed you wherever you went. They gave you support in making these changes, but because of your upbringing, you had an unhealthy emotion or lack of emotions towards others. And this was on Valentine's Day 1900. The following day, the 15th, I felt you had to stay focused because you had this fear that sadness will become your reality and things wouldn't change for you. I felt like you had an emotional issue with your friend as they became extremely dependent and needy in a needy sort of way. Um... You were spending day and night with this person and you tried to look on the bright side of life to be stable and happy. But because this person became clingy on you, you felt like you were trapped, I would imagine. You you know, you reached your destination and you had this childlike joy and this was the beginning of new happiness for you. Now, I felt like 18 months later, you had this growing power about you, Virgo. The inexperience that you had led to leadership. But you treated your friend as if they needed guidance and protection, even though they didn't. So this is how you were brought up. Um, and you were putting that on somebody else. Now, this was your childhood friend that you were taking advantage of. And your overly dominating behaviour turned your friend into a passive follower. This was you being dominant and your friend submissive and I felt like you were exploiting this person back in this lifetime. Now, I felt like um, your health deteriorated. You had a loss of energy and you couldn't swallow um, on your last day. Your voice was gargling type of action. So, you know, um, you could have died around 58 or 68 years old. Now, in this lifetime, Virgo, we have the Hermit and you have completed a period of activity and discovery at this time. Now you need to, uh, this time to absorb and reflect upon what you've learned and experienced. This withdrawal precedes a future period of initiation. So it seems like it's brought up this issue that you've been holding onto from the past incarnation. Now, caution is the uppermost in the way you relate to the world about you. Your plans could be unformed at this moment, but you're aware of their presence. <clears throat> so it's pretty much like a seed germinating in the dark. You must be patient in this new life within you and wait. Now we have, um, you know, maybe uh, with this hermit, you, this is a time you may feel uncomfortable with unfamiliar acquaintances and even with a loving relationship and your need for retreat must be respected. So if you're with someone, you want that time apart. This card doesn't signify depression, but it's a need to dwell symbolically in the hermit's peaceful cave while preparing for your future and what you're going to do. Now, singles, you know, you may be in love with somebody or you have a beloved figure that's coming into your life. But this uh, this is someone that's going to teach and guide you towards enlightenment. Now, this person will support you through your darkest hour, just like they did in the past incarnation. And they will hold up a mirror to your inner self here, Virgo, so that you can eventually um, see clearly. Now, advice from this person may be done in gentle terms we're tempted to ignore it or fail to hear what they're what is being said 
But this card's asking you to surrender your obstinacy. Consider other ways of looking at life and travel along it for, uh, for a while. Now, this person is a powerful figure that helps bring some part of yourself back to life. And although you may be hesitant over which path to take at this time, it's annoying and frustrating for you. But it's not going to evoke response in your partner for, because they're very wise, very intuitive. Now, they could be the Cancerian that was in your life back then or a Leo. Um, I feel their love for you is non-judgmental. And they have this special thing about them where they light your way free of egotistical conceits, you know. You can open up completely to this person as you can entrust your most precious secrets with them, just like you did in the past. Now we'll move on to couples and we've got the High Priestess in reverse. So this card is warning that fantasy may, uh, may be superseding reality now. Your relationship's not what it seems to be. And if there's a real relationship at all, you know, you could be longing for this person or for someone that's unavailable or someone that um, you place on a pedestal in your imagination now you may be involved with someone who is very shallow although their words give the impression of emotional depth they could have told you that your soulmates and have been waiting for each other for all your lives and this person knows that you are destined to be together <coughs> excuse me because it's part of your joint karma now this is a pattern that's laid down in the past incarnation and time's going to prove the truth of these um, you know of this pattern but be wary meanwhile here Virgo I do see emotional isolation is signified by this card too and if you live together one of you feels like an outcast at the moment everything's um, that's appearing seems to be fine on the surface but in or in public but one partner's lonely and unhappy and is unable to, con um, to communicate this sense of being, how they're shut out and not needed. Now this can be solved by simply just opening up to each other. Now we have the future emperor in reverse um, position. So, you know, when you're focusing so much on the outer world, the inner world is suffering here. Now your challenge is to bring your feelings to consciousness. Just look fear in the face and <clears throat> you know, just realistically assess what must be done just so you can get your relationship back on track. So that's all I have for you guys. Appreciate you coming back to the channel. Hope it resonates with whoever's uh, needing guidance. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Help me build the numbers up so I can give you all your messages from spirit. Love to you all. Stay safe. Bye for now.